It took all the year because the Cavs have been banged up really since the beginning of the season. Um, it's been a theme the last three years with the Cavs, injuries. Tonight was the first time in the 23-24 season I thought the injuries have caught up. The Cavs were tied 62-62, looked like it was going to be a game, and the Cavs from that moment on just started playing tired. And every shot that went in for the Cavs was highly contested. The Cavs just looked worn out. They just looked whipped at the end of the night. The Cavs are going to have to start getting players healthy. They're going to have to find some way to get some energy. They have a tough string of games again. They go to Miami on Sunday, then they get a back-to-back at home, but then they go right back on the road again. JB's not using his bench. Here's the problem. They don't have a bench. I don't know. JB blaming tonight? I'm not going to buy it. Cavs got to get healthy. Where's the Struess report? What's going on with Wade? Like, we need these guys back. I get it. They're hurt. We need them bad. Incredibly hard to beat a great team. I'm sure short hand. And Sam, I thought tonight, I let off with it with the first time this season, Cavs looked tired. Every shot that went in for the Cavs from the 62-62 mark was highly contested. We need to get healthy somehow quickly. We really, really do. Too many injuries. Um, SD, I thought DJ had a weird game. I thought he actually did a nice job passing, but he couldn't get anything going. I don't believe anybody for the Cavs tonight hit above 20. I mean, every shot, SD, every shot in this game that went in the sec late in the third quarter on, highly contested tough shots. Garland's way over, is way too overutilized, in my opinion. Nolan, I'm actually going to take a sidestep from that comment and say this. Cavs don't have many options right now. These tough strings of games where they play back-to-backs, one at home, go back on the road, they're exhausting. They don't have any rotation right now. Morris has to be signed for more than a 10-day contract at this point. Bikano, great to see you. We're missing half our team. That's what I said too, Sam. I agree with you. Um, he did play Harrow, but he did not. Again, no, the team offensively didn't make much of an impact. Got to play Craig Porter. That I agree with. The Craig Porter thing I agree with. And I'll say this about Garland. He is getting blown by on defense. Blown by on defense. Porter, I will say, is starting to look like a rookie. Porter needs to play. I agree with you. Keep Garland as fresh as possible. I agree with you. Porter's got to play 10 minutes a night. Is that time of the year? You're right. We're hitting the wall. We are st- We are really hitting the wall. Cavs have got to get healthy. They can't They can't go much longer with this no Struess, no Mobley, no Mitchell, no Wade. They've got to get these players back. I mean, this is – Morris was on the street a few weeks ago. He played 28 minutes a night. Oof, it's a lot. It's a lot of minutes. Watching bigger staff's nephew be down in Wisconsin right now. Yeah, you know what? Um, Wisconsin is like Starbucks. They're just a lot of foam. They piss me off. I hate Wisconsin. They look tough, and they do. Then they get in the tournament, and they fold like a lawn chair. And no one for 20 points. Injuries are excuse. Good teams find ways to win. Be Cato. We're not making excuses. We're telling facts. And the facts say this. Cavs are tired. Cavs got to find some energy. JB can play a Porter more. Sure, I'll hear that. To be honest with you, I think a Porter plays tonight, the Cavs still lose. Cavs have got to get some health back. Cavs need to get some players back. They have three starters out, and it's starting to wear. Yes, they are. <clears throat> toot toot! I'm going with the third seed. Minnesota announcer said we should play Indiana. I, I, we're, we're too far out saying seeding. Let's just keep going. Cavs have a long march. It's, it's March, what is it today? 22nd. These next two weeks are brutal. Austin, I'm hearing, a, I'm hearing he's practicing, but I'm also hearing he's not close to returning. Survival mode for the Cavs, yes. I think it's another week for Mobley. I'm hearing nothing about Struess. Um, and Mitchell's, I don't think we're going to see Mitchell till mid-April, too. No, he's not BK. Okay, BK, though, is, a little, is this a little sour as his brackets are going bad. You, yeah, you keep losing like this. We, we can lose this home court advantage in the postseason. Sure, long season to go. 
No need to rush anybody back. Yes, but they need to start getting guys healthier sooner rather than later. You're going to wear out your team. I agree. The alchemy tattoos, tough loss is right. No, we don't. I think we're going to be a four or five. Their Cavs are going to be a three, four, or five. It's going to be one of those three. I don't see them overtaking the Bucks. Cavs just have too many injuries, and they have a brutal the, the schedule. Here's the bad thing: the schedule gets tougher from here. Very, very tough. That's what's going on. Cavs look tired. Got to get some players back. I agree with the comments on Porter needing to play more. I agree. But the Cavs have got to start getting players back. 62-62. Six minutes and change left to go in the third quarter. Cavs were in this game. And the Cavs from that moment on struggled playing basketball. They looked really tired from that moment on. My bracket's alive. Well, <laughs> BK, it'll good for you. Have a good night. If this continues, we'll be playing the Knicks again. Yes, we will, DJ, and I don't want to play the Knicks. Have a good night. Enjoy March Madness. Be back here Sunday. Remember, it's a Sunday, Monday again for the Cavs. Sunday in Miami. See you then.